My dudes, what's going on? How goes the grind? What's new? Hope everyone had a great week. Let's get down to business. Today we're doing something a little educational. We're doing an ultimate catching guide. Now disclaimer, this guide is subjective and based on opinion and study, but people might have a different way of doing it. That's all good. I'm focusing on the 99% get their way to achieve the Eidolon goal. I'm going to guide you and help you juice out your efficiency for catching so you can get a nice head start on late game bugs and an idea of how increasing your catching heading into world four and AFK gains and a juicy 3D print. Believe it or not, catching is one of the hardest skills to get high efficiency and lots of bugs per hour. There's a couple we're not going to cover such as stasis and the maestro skill claw of efficiency. This is because I want to show you how possible it is to get juicy 3D prints and good bugs per hour without relying on juice out skills and talents. And this was a massive project to make into a video. So make sure you hit that sub button and ring the bell. Helps me out a ton. And check me out on Twitch for that first monitor content. Everything will be in a pinned comment below. Anyways, let's get into it. To start off, let's talk about the class. If you guys don't know, catching is the best done with Bowman. Third tab has all the major catching talents. Speaking of talents, let's go over them. In the first tab, you are going to want to prioritize elusive efficiency, which is efficiency percent and quickness boost, which is base agility, the primary stat for catching. Second tab is going to be focus soul, which is XP gain for catching and sanic speed, which is also base agility. And with extra talent points, you can spec into smithing talents, but that's for another video. Third tab is going to be where most of your points are going into, such as telekinetic logs, which is catching efficiency, based off how many oak logs you have in your storage to the power of 10. Example, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, etc. So getting a plethora of oak logs is very beneficial to your catching efficiency. Next is Briar Patch Runner, which increases your agility stat to give you more efficiency per point of agility. After that is Sunset on the Hives, which is the only form of catching AFK games for talents, unlike other classes that get AFK gains from tab one. I would say Bug Enthusiast would be a good next choice, but I would suggest Agi again, because it gives you a higher agility talent upgrade in tab one, which synergizes nicely with Briar. If you still have points in tab three, you could put it into Swifty statues, which boosts the catching statue all reliable. And finally, Star Talents. Will of the Eldest for plus one all stat based on max character level. TikTok for AFK gains. Note the best level for TikTok is level 30 because after 30 you get diminishing returns. Toilet paper postage for increased stamp efficiency, which we'll get into later. Super source for base efficiency, which is obtained in Party Dungeon Flurbo Shop. And Action Frenzy, which is skilling speed, also obtained in the Party Dungeon Flurbo Shop. All right, you still with me? Because we still got a lot to cover. It's going to be a huge info dump, but I guarantee you this will help. Trust. Card time. Warning, some of these cards are World 4 cards, so it's something to work towards. First one is going to be Chaotic Troll, which gives skill efficiency. Amarok for skill AFK gains. Berry for catching speed. Flycicle for catching AFK gains. Mesquite Snow, which is efficiency percent. Fruit Flies, which is AFK gains. Butterflies, which is also efficiency percent. And finally, Bunny for more skill AFK gains. Since you probably not have these cards yet, you can go as cards such as Chaotic Efont for skill XP and Sentient Serial for skill XP just to help fill those gaps or for base agility, you can go Carrotman, Bloke, and Mafioso can be used as well. And the card set you want to use is going to be Easy Resources for that extra skill efficiency percentage. Now that all cards are situated, let's talk about Star Signs. Now we have two setups we're gonna talk about with Hydron and without Hydron. And for people that don't know Hydron tab, it lets you equip up to three star signs. If you don't have that, Kronos is just fine. So with Hydron, the three skills you want is Comatose Major, which is 4% skill AFK gains, OG Skiller for skill AFK gains and prowess, which I'll explain prowess later, and Shoe Fly, which is efficiency and multi-bog chance, which is huge. Without Hydron, OG Skiller and Shoe Fly are your go-to. Now let's talk about gear. The gear you want to run is as follows. Two Rex Rings for skill efficiency, and you'll eventually upgrade these to serrated Rex Rings. Bandito Pantaloons for efficiency, which is in the Craft tab Anvil 1. Barrel Leathering for efficiency in Anvil tab 2. And Bandito Boots, also efficiency percent, which is Anvil tab 2, as well as we will be upgrading when we get to Anvil tab 4. And of course, the highest net you can have equipped. Achievements are just really good to have, but they are optional. So Golden Fly, which is 5% catching efficiency, and Fruit Salad, which is 5% catching speed for all characters. The other needle is okay, it's XP percent though, but we're talking about efficiency and AFK gains. Now for trophies. 
You have two options. The easier route is to go for Blunder Hill, uh, which is a World 1 completion trophy and gives base agility and 3% AFK gains. Or Critter Baron, which gives you 5% agility. I personally prefer Blunder, that's just me. Now on to post office. The big ticket item is going to be bug hunting supplies, which is fantastic because it gives you three things. Catching efficiency percent, prowess effect percent, and catching AFK gain percent. If you guys don't know what prowess is, prowess reduces the efficiency need in order to get 100% on that set catch. So if you're going for flysicles and you need 300k efficiency and you take 30% away from that, do the math and it will reduce the amount of efficiency required in order to catch those said bugs. So that's the whole point of prowess. You should invest about 400 into this box. Although you get diminishing returns after 200, it's still worth it to put into this box. And if you still got a ton of boxes, you can go utilitarian capsule. But, but before you go ahead and do that, I would suggest you to watch my post office guide to help you with your decision. We're almost there. If you're still up to this point, give yourself a pat on the back. This has been a lot, but I appreciate you sticking around. That's dedication, and I respect that. Anyways, moving on. For this one, you want a set of gold ovals and silver ovals for catching, which can be attained by via gem shop, or if you want to go the cheap way like I do, the alchemy from grand ovals and decent ovals. I suggest going the cheap because damn, ovals are expensive. Now you ask yourself, why go gold and silver? Well, that's easy. Silver ovals are circle ovals, and gold ovals are square. So to maximize catching power, you want a mixture of both. Don't upgrade to plat because A, it's too expensive, B, catching ovals are hard to come by, and C, it's a hexagon oval. So that means you can't have cheese or, or E font to take its place. Alchemy is a little bit confusing, but it's pretty basic for this one. But I know you were waiting for it. Everybody was waiting. It's the big chungus of the game. Any absurd damage or insane efficiency is mostly going to be because of alchemy. It's still the true end game. Let's start with small bubbles. All of these are located in the green cauldron. Static Tools, which is bubble number six, gives you skilling power for catching nets, which is very strong. Swift Step In is bubble one for base agility. You can never have enough of that. Archer of Bust, which is bubble two, and it gives you a time bonus on all green passive bonuses, so this will stack very hard late game with Static Tools. And Prima Green, which is bubble 14, it gives a time bonus as well to specifically bubble six, which is Sonic Tools, another big scale in late game. And just to let you guys know that when you put a time bonus on a time bonus, you add the time bonuses first before you multiply the bonus that you're currently hitting. It doesn't times it and then times it again. They just add together, then times it. And finally, Fly in Mind, Bubble 15, which gives catching AFK gain percent. Now for the big bubble. Bug Square gives you a multi-bug catching chance. But not only that, it increases the cap up to 300% instead of 100%, which is huge, but this one has to be actively equipped. So the two major stamps you want to prioritize would be Catch Net, which is base catching efficiency, which scales off the star talent toilet paper postage, and efficiency percent. The Buzz Buzz stamp, which is more multi-bug chance, and the other stamps are capacity and XP percent, but that's up to you if you want to upgrade them or not. Next up is Statue. The Statue of Choice will be all reliable, which gives you catching power and can be tame mostly from fishing. Quick hint, if you're farming statues, run drop rate. That affects the drops of statues while skilling. And if you put points into Swifty statues, it scales off that skill. And certainly, but not least, food. I would suggest to only use for 3D prints. Missile berries come from the Gift Miss event, and buttered toast butter from crafting, which gives you catching speed. Overall, for this example, I'm going to do everything that I just listed on this video, and we're going to see my AFK gains, efficiency, and catch per hour, all on fruit flies, which is a basic threshold and stopping point for most people in catching. Now, there's going to be slight variation with my build compared to your build, just because I have a couple of more things that juice up my efficiency. One thing also is prayers. The prayers you want to take are going to be as followed. Skill Dimwit, which gives you 72% skill A efficiency gain. And the Royal Sampler, which gives you 15% 3D printer size. But it also removes XP gain on both sides, so don't expect you to gain levels fast using these two prayers. So let's go over the talents quickly just to show you what my stat priority is with my talent points. I've already upgraded these to max talents, so there's going to be slight variations between the two. So here's tab 1, tab 2, and tab 3. You can go ahead and pause it if you need to check it out again, but those are my talents, and then star talents. Pretty basic, nothing too crazy. This is my inventory, so I have the feral leatherings, I have the bandito pantaloons, and I have the bandito boots, but I also have serrated rex rings. And then we have the snoozy cap, which gives me 10% AFK gains, and we also have the Angel Wings, which also gives me 11% AFK gains. 
So it's gonna be a little different by about 21% if you guys do not have this. I also running a candy, which gives me 6% AFK gains. And I have a Blunder Hero, which gives me also another 3% AFK gain. Other than that, I'm running absolutely everything that I said in this guide to help you juice out your efficiency. So let's go check out Fruit Flies. Now that we're at Fruit Flies, let's go ahead and check to see what our 3D print is and how much we're catching. So currently what we have right here is we have 4,753 bugs per hour and we have an AFK gain rate of 140%. And our max efficiency is just shy of 1 million. Now let's see our 3D print. Our 3D print is 3031. That doesn't seem very high. It seems quite low, but that's actually a pretty high print for being at this level. Now, just for all intents and purposes, let's go check out flies. 15,000 flies per hour. So now your 3D prints are gonna be printing off 15K. So if that goes to show you how juiced out the print truly is, the flies prove it the most. I'm actually out of breath from reading that massive info dump. Anyways, there you go guys, catching guide. If I forgot anything, my bad, this is a massive guide. Hope you enjoyed the content and got some serious gains. And let me know in the comment section below if you use this method and it works. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for the old, the Eidolon content and really support me as an Eidolon creator. We also started a r slash itty bitty army subreddit to help keep more in touch with the community because I know a lot of people's social media also don't have Twitch and Twitter and stuff like that. So I thought Reddit would be the ultimate choice because I do want to keep in touch with you guys and I do want to chit chat. I go on there every day, so make sure you join it. Anyways, stay tuned for our next Eidolon video. Stay safe, happy grinding, and peace out.